Every beacon in Beaconville liked winter break a lot, but Bobby, who lived in Clark, did not. Bobby hated winter break, the whole winter season. Now, please don't ask why, no one quite knows the reason. It could be his light bulb wasn't screwed on just right, it could be, perhaps, that his shoes were too tight. But I think that the most likely reason of all may have been that the students were leaving without even one phone call. Whatever the reason, the students or his shoes, he stood at the campus center, really feeling the blues. He thought and he thought about what he could do to keep all the students from leaving the school. What if there were a snowstorm? They will need somewhere to stay warm. So Bobby decided to snow them all in. He cut up some snowflakes to let the games begin. He found Danny, a student, and showed him the mess. Bobby was smiling, proud of his success. But Danny did not fall for his trick. He dashed off to the shuttle very quick. Bobby was very upset, feeling defeated. He felt the students were acting conceited. Bobby decided to step up his game. He would change the Dean's List name by name. He placed all the students into probation so that they would have to be here in Beacon Nation. He found Nahalia and showed her what he had done. Now Bobby thought that he really had won. Nahalia thought this was quite a laugh, and then quickly undid the changes to the draft. Bobby was frustrated, running out of options. He really just wanted the students to stay at UMass Boston. He knew there was one way to make the students stay. He could ruin their South Africa trip with just a few quick rips. Bobby grabbed the Dean to show her the damage. She would not be able to fix these with just a bandage. The Dean then realized why Bobby was upset. Students were leaving campus with no regret. It wasn't that students didn't care about Bobby. They didn't intend to come off so snobby. The students were excited to get home for break, but first they'd have a party to make up for their mistake. Honors Event Council hosted one last celebration as a way to cheer up Bobby from his devastation. They made the room pretty and nice, the best for Bobby, they didn't think twice. Bobby was thrilled, filled with surprise, tears of joy in his eyes, thank you, you guys. They partied all night, happy that they had made things right.